Hi, I'm here today to talk about the quick reference sheet for the VGK knee. Um, it's a very simple knee. There's not a lot to be adjusted, but at times it can be confusing. So I want to start off with step one through step four. So first step we're going to do is the stance yield. Okay, And this is similar to what you've had with other knees. This is the setting where you first thing you do is control them sitting in their seat. When you want the knee to help them sit down, they want resistance in sitting. It gives a nice long stroke and it will help them all the way down to the chair. So you adjust this clockwise more resistance, counterclockwise less resistance. Very simple. Now once their stance is set and you've done the correct TKA bench alignment, this knee is ready to walk. The trick is for walking is when does the knee release into swing? It needs a couple things to release in the swing. One, full extension. The knee has to be fully extended. And two, they have to have a toe load. Now the toe load, which is a switching, me switching mechanism, is adjusted with this large screw down here, which is a foot bolt screw. So if you back it up, it makes it easier. If you have a brand new patient who's never walked with a knee that has stance control, back that quite a bit up. Now if you back it up a long ways, you're going to see a motion down here and you're going to hear sometimes that motion. If you have motion, too much motion down here, screw it in until it just stops, even for that new patient. Okay, so now we have this set so the toe load is correct and they're walking and they're initiating swing, they're getting swing to happen. Now we need to know is, this, is the swing resistance high or low? What do we need to get proper heel height? Most people need, which is step three, to have this lever right here slid all the way over to a year right. And then next, that should give the highest heel rise. Next is this stance or swing yield. Swing yield is all about what is the length. The long leg is going to have more fulcrum action it needs more resistance in the knee a prosthesis where the foot is mounted at the bottom of this knee needs extremely low resistance i recommend for everybody start off with this yield turned all the way off or counterclockwise till it comes to a stop there is a stop don't try to overpower it it's simple so bring it to the stop bring this all the way over and that's where you really want to start and then slow down the heel Okay, the patient, this is a different walking knee, and patients need to understand that the resistance is also their extension assist. So without a heel rise, they get no swing. The swing doesn't work. So those are the four steps. One, we're going to use the stance yield. This is the most important, that we know this knee is stable. And you adjust that by having them sit and standing. Once you've walked them, now you want to put them on a ramp and make sure that's also very safe for them to deal with a ramp or walk backwards. So sec that's number one. Number two is the big screw. What, at what is the timing to release the knee? What is the toe load need, needed? So any foot will work, but you adjust the toe load here. Three, slide this lever usually all the way to the right to start off with and then adjust the heel rise accordingly. And four, if that doesn't do the trick, lower your resistance on the stance or swing yield and then bring it up if they're very long. That's it. It's very simple need to adjust. Thank you.